Welcome to News and Views. Good morning, everyone. We have a lot of stuff to talk about today and a very big announcement as well. So we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but first of all, we want to thank you all for the success of our ABC sale last week. Uh, we had some great volunteers, a lot of volunteers coming out to, to bring stuff in and also to work uh, the event as well. Lots of stuff brought in, as I mentioned. We netted about $5,700, $5,700, almost all from free will donations uh, for the wide variety of items that everyone brought in uh, for the sale. So we thank you so much for that. Proceeds will go to help out a wide variety of projects, uh, mainly for our youth uh, ministry group. And we were also able, thankfully, to send uh, some truckloads, two truckloads, in fact, of leftover clothing and household items. And those went to the Disabled American Veterans Thrift Store in Des Moines and uh, helped with that great charity there. So I'm sure they were very grateful. Also uh, coming up next weekend on Saturday is our men's retreat. Uh, we promoted that a little bit, but we just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, this men's retreat will be again next Saturday. It's going to be over Zoom. So what you're going to have to do if you're interested in being involved, this will cover a variety of topics. It's going to be led by Scott Steffen, Deacon Scott Steffen, along with David Lamar and Father Hughes here. They'll all be giving particular talks having to do with men's spirituality and things like this. Um, and so it's from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. next Saturday. It's going to be over Zoom. So if you would like to participate and haven't signed up already, go ahead and email Deacon Scott Steffen at sbsteff, S-T-E-F-F, -F, 63 at gmail.com. And he'll go ahead and send you that Zoom link that you'll need to participate in that conference next weekend. We have a major announcement from our bishop this morning in Sioux City. The bishop announced that He's going to invite all pastors, if the situation in their local community is safe, to re-inaugurate masses the last weekend in June, the 27th and 28th of June. We've been waiting for this for a long time. This long fast from our Eucharistic assemblies has been difficult for all of us. So we're grateful for that, um, that clearance that's happening. There have been some spikes in, in um, events and, and diagnosis in Boone County this week, so we have to keep our, our eye on that. The dispensation from the obligation to attend Mass on Sunday remains in place, and so people do, do not feel it's safe to go to Mass, do not need to, uh, can fulfill their obligation by watching it on our, our TV channel or some other, other channel, but they do not need to attend Mass in person, and that, that dispensation will be in place until the end of December this year. If you're elderly and frail, or if you have a pre-existing medical condition, which uh, would suggest that you should not be out in public, we strongly encourage you um, to observe mass from home. To enhance our ability to practice social distancing, when we re-inaugurate masses that last week in, July, in June, we will not have mass in any of our churches. We'll have mass in the Sacred Heart Ryan Gymnasium and in Hanson Hall in Madrid. For the time being, because of the size of the church, the bishop does not permit um, masses in any secondary churches of the diocese at this time, but we will uh, start mass in Ogden as soon as the bishop gives us permission to do that. Um, we'll try to start that as soon as possible. And we should also kind of reiterate as well that this is going to happen if things don't change. So if we had, for whatever reason, a big spike across the diocese or something like that, we would have to push the state back but this is what we're shooting for at this point. So we are planning on that last weekend in June. And so we would encourage you all, if you would like to attend Mass, to use Sign Up Genius. Uh, this is what we'll be using to allow our parish members to actually make a reservation spot for Mass so we can uh, figure out the chairs, uh, how they wanna be, and so that we have enough uh, chairs to be available for the people that are coming. Uh, it's a little bit awkward, we're sorry about that, but it's the necessary thing that we have to do in order to provide contract tracing. We have to know who's coming uh, in order to do that in the unfortunate circumstance that we would need to contact people if someone became COVID positive. Uh, masks are also required um, and so if you're coming, make sure to bring your mask. We'll also have hand sanitizer provided there as well. So a lot of safety protocols that we're taking into effect. Um, we need some volunteers in both sites, both in Boone and in Madrid to help us with things. And we're going to especially ask young people, young couples, young families to deal with, uh, help us with this. We need some folks to act as ushers, 
to make sure that people are oriented in the right direction coming into their places um, in, in the gymnasium and in Hanson Hall and to help us straighten up the, uh, the rooms afterwards getting ready for the next masses. Um, if you're 65 or older, the bishop asks that you not function in this capacity or if you're under 12, the bishop asks that you not participate in that. So we need some volunteers. So if you're able to do that and willing to do that, if you could call the parish office and uh, the Boone County Parish Office in Boone, uh, we'd be grateful. And also just please watch our website over the next several days for more detailed information there. And uh, soon we'll also have those exact instructions about how to use Sign Up Genius, which I was just talking about, to reserve a place for Mass. For the most part, we'll follow our regular Mass schedule as we followed it here in uh, Boone County for the last number of, of months. We'll have Mass at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon in Boone, again in the gymnasium, and 6 o'clock in Hanson Hall on Saturday evenings. We will add a Mass in Boone on Sunday morning um, to displace the, the crowd that may be coming from Ogden. We'll have Mass in the gymnasium in Boone at 8.30 and uh, again at um, 8.30 in Madrid also at the same time and then a 10.30 Mass in Boone. We understand that there will be a lot of folks that will not want to come out and join us and we understand that. So we have, don't have full capacity in any of those buildings but we hope that um, as many people as possible will be able to join us. Again, we'll re-inaugurate Mass in Ogden as soon as we possibly can. There has been a recent spike of COVID-19 diagnoses in, here in Boone County. Uh, our largest day to date was Friday with 12 new diagnoses, um, but I believe that that is somewhat contained. And so keep your eyes on our website and on um, other information that's coming about about how things are gonna be handled in um, Boone County. Wear a mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing. Together, together, we will be able to defeat this virus in our midst. Let's especially pray for the sick and for the brave men and women that care for them and for all families who are mourning the loss of a loved one. We had two deaths, this, uh, funerals this last week Mary Peterson, a lifelong member of our parish, nearly lifelong member of our parish, died and was buried from here. Um, also, Ralph Canny, who has been here for um, more than 50 years, has uh, died and was buried this week. Please pray for them and for their families. Mary Peterson, Mary Pearson, pardon me, and Ralph Canny. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May God bless and protect you all.